Hey guys, so welcome back. Don't be alarmed, I know we haven't typed out this uh, code yet, and this is actually the only code that we're not going to write out in this course. And the reason for that is because uh, this code is not relevant to machine learning or AWS. So basically, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can uh, use the Kaggle API to directly download any data set from Kaggle to your SageMaker notebook. This is really powerful because you're not going to uh, have to go to Kaggle, download the data set manually uh, to your local computer, and then upload it to your SageMaker notebook. By the way, you can upload stuff with this uh, button over here, but we're not going to use that because this way it's going to be a lot faster because it's going to download the zip file for us to our SageMaker directory, and then we're going to unzip that and have access to our data really quickly. So basically, uh, you're going to start off with installing Kaggle. For you, it's probably going to take longer because my Kaggle is already installed. Then you're going to create a Kaggle folder. For me, it's going to say that it's not going to create it because it already exists, because uh, I've already created one. But for you, uh, you're not going to have this error. Then you're going to create a Kaggle.json file in the folder that you just created. And here it says API token. So come all the way over to Kaggle, and I'm going to show you guys. So you're in Kaggle. Um, make sure you have a profile, go to your account, and I know that the Kaggle UI has changed recently, so it might not be exactly like this, but try and find where it says API, and find something like create new API token, or download my API token, and I've actually already uh, downloaded mine. As you can see, uh, here is my Kaggle.json file, and I have a username and a key. So I'm going to copy my username, and make sure you use your own because I'm going to be deleting these uh, credentials once I uh, finished filming. So Udemy Courses is my username and I'm also going to copy my key. And this way we have the API token. So I'm going to run this. And now we're going to, with open, uh, write to the uh, API token to the file. So to the file that we just created, uh, this Kaggle.json, we're going to add the API token. So that's what we're doing over here. I'm going to run it. And then uh, this is just some boilerplate uh, stuff. Uh, chmod600 just basically sets permissions so that the user owner can read, write, and can execute. So this is some boilerplate uh, stuff. I'm going to uh, run it. Then over here, you see this Kaggle datasets download uh, flag D and then this uh, path over here and then dash dash force. By the way, one quick thing, in a SageMaker, you can run terminal commands when you have the exclamation point. So that's why we use the exclamation points over here. So you're probably wondering, what is this uh, Paul Timothy Mooney slash chest x-ray pneumonia? Well, this is our data set. And this is how you can download any data set you want from Kaggle. So basically, you just go to the URL and you grab everything that's following the dot com. So I'm going to grab this, I copy it, and I paste it over here, and it's going to download the data set. Now, to show you guys that you can download any other data set, uh, we could use the Skin Cancer MNIST one by clicking over here and copying everything followed by the uh, .com. So this way we can download any data set. So if you come back over here, uh, you can run this, and now it began the download. As you can see, it started downloading the a folder as a zip and once that's done we want to uh, extract everything from that zip file to a folder called data so basically we're downloading a zip file and this zip file dot zip file command over here is going to allow us to extract everything from the uh, zip file as you can see uh, we already have the zip file over here it's not done downloading but actually it already finished downloading so now we can unzip it and see how fast this is guys. So this is why I recommend uh, downloading data from Kaggle this way as opposed to for example coming over here and pressing on downloading one gigabytes of data and then having to manually upload it to your uh, SageMaker notebooks. So I'm going to come back once this is finished uh, running. By the way you can see it's still running because you have the asterisk over here and as you can see the data folder has already been created we uh, specified uh, over here that we want to extract all the data from the uh, zip file over here. 
to this folder called data. So I will see you guys shortly when this is finished.